So you've got the new iPhone 14, you got the pro model because you're excited about the 48 megapixel RAW files, you take some images in RAW format, you bring them into Adobe Lightroom, and then everything looks like crap and is super underexposed. Let's talk about what's happening and the quick little workaround you can use. All right, so the short version of what's going on and why your iPhone 14 raw images don't come out correctly in Adobe Lightroom is that Lightroom hasn't been updated yet to fully support the iPhone 14 files by default. If you go out to the Lightroom product page, you look at the list of supported cameras, you'll see that the iPhone 14 is not on that list, at least not as of the beginning of October, 2022. And so in the meantime, there is a workaround. So let's take a look at what's going on in Lightroom. Here's an image shot at a fast food restaurant last week. This is the HEIC image. This is the compressed image format. Um, this is what Apple's gonna do by default, 12 megapixels. And as you can see, it looks just fine. If I switch to the next image that I photographed, this is what I get with the Pro Raw 48 megapixel image. Yikes, super underexposed. And the issue is the profile that Lightroom is applying. It's not able to correctly read the Apple Pro Raw profile in these images. And so if I'm in my develop module here in Lightroom and I go over to the right hand side up above all my you know basic controls, there's an option to drop down to choose the, the profile. And instead of the Apple embedded color profile, which is what you get by default and is super underexposed, if I change it to Apple Pro Raw, now things are looking better and I can start to work with this image. I can, you know, maybe I want to boost the contrast up a little bit, bring down some of those highlights a bit because I got some bright spots there in the image and I can go to town editing this raw file. Let's look at another example. This is another case here, kind of just a foggy scene this morning outside of a doctor's office I was at. This is what the HEIC image looks like. Again, this is the compressed image, the default. There's the Apple Pro Raw. Again, very underexposed. But if I go up and I change my color profile on the right hand side, I change that to Pro Raw. Now I've got a good starting point. I have a closer to properly exposed image and I'm in a good place where I can now start, you know, editing this. If I want to, you know, add some more vibrance to help those, uh, help those trees pop a little bit or go from there with my edits. And so if you use Lightroom, be sure to go in and change that color profile. I would expect that Adobe is going to release an update for Lightroom soon that will address this. Adobe Max is coming up later in this month. If they don't do it before then, I bet they'll do it at that point. And so if this was interesting, be sure to subscribe down below. I'll be back at you again with another modern tech photo video. And until then, take care.